Hello and welcome to, welcome back to the CC Makes podcast episode nine. nine. Um, my name is Karina. Or, I'm Taryn. Or CC. This is Taryn. Um, primarily a knitting podcast. Kinda. It's been for the last few months because I haven't been home. But I do hand dye yarn as well. I have a shop um, on Etsy. CC Fiber and Design um, on there. It will all be linked below on Instagram as CC underscore makes. And I'm not going to say anything about Ravelry because I have not updated it. Even though she said every single podcast that she's going to do it. But I haven't. So anyways. The um, dog sitter just said that she's going to miss the dogs. Maybe she wants them. So I have some finished objects, not a lot. Um, I don't have any works in progress at all. Um, everything's kind of a mess right now. I just got back to Washington, so we're still unpacking. And They're unpacking. I I'm unpacking. I'm getting ready to leave. <laughs> we didn't bring any clothes home though. We just brought two yarn. suitcases of yarn and my computer. So my computer was even stuffed with yarn. My, yeah, I even stuffed my computer with yarn, but yeah, I have nothing to work on right now because it's such a mess. I will start something. She needs to get her house in order. I need to get my house in order. Yeah, I do. So, finished objects. I have socks. A pair of vanilla socks. This is yarn from Knit Crate. Um, I want to say her name was Bad, Bad Mom yarn i think i don't know it's on my instagram um when she or when they um would i don't know get yarn from indie dyers this was one of those those um packages now i think they use their own own brands vanilla sock 64 stitches um i did a heel flopping gusset this time because the fish lips kiss heel and the after hot after hot after thought heel just doesn't fit right so these fit better. Um, there's a hair in them. <laughs> I got a comment on my last episode about trying the the Flegel heel. So I'm going to try that um, and see if that fits. I know these don't slide around, but I don't really like doing a heel flapping gusset, honestly. Kinda... She needs to stop doing socks. I do. I should have brought all my socks back that I had in Alaska. I had... I think I counted she, 13 pairs there. That's like her only thing that she does and... It's because I don't have to think. I can just knit without looking even. So yeah, here's the other pair. Uh, this is on my Instagram too. This is um, yarn by Knit Crate. I don't really remember. It's all on my Instagram though. Vanilla socks, same heel. Uh, this heel is the heel flap and gusset from the Hermione everyday sock. Hermione? Hermione. What? Why is that weird? Harry Potter. I know. I, I got that. I got that. Um, same socks, just vanilla. Mm. Nothing fancy. I don't think you can see the sparkle, but they're both sparkle. Mm. Nope. You might be able to see it in this one better. Not at all. They're both Stellina socks. Like too hot to wear them now though. Yeah, way too hot. Way too warm. And my next finished object that I just finished this morning and it's not blocked is a little sweater for my nieces. I started this forever ago and I was gonna rip it out. Got sick of looking at it and it's supposed to have long sleeves that fade the same way, but I am still sick of looking at it. So it got she short cheated. sleeves. Totally cheated. Totally cheated. This is supposed to be the So Faded Pint Size by Andrea Mowry, but it's half of that. It's half of that. It's cute. It's just needs to be blocked and shipped off to them. Her nieces are going to fight over it though. I did have another finished object, but um, I left it with them. So I didn't even get a picture. Maybe I'll insert a picture if I can get my sister to send one. Um, 
this one I've shown before. This is acrylic and it was the pattern by Hohi Locatelli. I think it's just the basic raglan, but this is out of acrylic yarn. It's like the very first sweater that I made. So I used acrylic. And when I showed it the last time, it, it just had fibers flying everywhere. It was so annoying. I didn't have a washer or a dryer by the time that I'd left Alaska, so I couldn't properly dry it. And How after, big this? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I don't know what it? size I knitted in. I just, just, I think it might, is it backwards? I don't know, is it? <laughs> Does it? It matters. Where? Give me. Uh. Oh, you're right. Uh. Gosh. <laughs> Anyways, after washing and drying it, it took all the fluff out of it. It's really soft now. It's, there's no fiber flying in our faces. It's, ooh, it's a comfy sweater. Mm -hmm. It's very large on her. It's very large on me, but that's fine. It was large on me too. Um, I need to work on my sizing when I size. My weekender is even too big for me. Um, when you make my sweater, I want it to be acrylic. Yeah, she doesn't like wool. I don't. It's not my favorite. This is really soft acrylic though. Like it's it normally not that soft. Which one is it? Oh, it's still kind of fluffy a little bit. Um, I don't know, just some cheap little stuff that I got from Michaels just to try out a sweater. Was it Michaels or was it Hobby Lobby? No, it was Michaels. Mm -hmm. It was when we lived in Georgia. I started it down there. Oh. Looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> So Take finished that, home. washed it, dried it. It's not fluffy and floating fibers everywhere anymore. So yeah, now that it's like washed properly. Properly. We keep moving this. No, no. Oh well. Oh well. But that's all the finished objects that I have. The one sweater that I I left um, was the Rosa T. Was it Rosa T? Yeah, Rosa. That Rosa T. Um, by. <laughs> it's that same one as this one names no it's not yes, it is. this is the one no 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 no, no. Mm -hmm. oh don't tell me what i know oh my gosh. there was the rosa tea um by anna dervout and i'll put a picture in here of the the pattern picture wow. Um, if I can get a picture of what I knit, I will insert that as well. Mm -hmm. It was very cute and a super easy knit. Followed completely to the pattern. Um, that is too. I didn't modify that at all. Mm -hmm. At all. So that's all my finished objects. No works in progress. I, I lie. I do have a work in progress, but it's only a cast on. Um, it's a sweater by Hohi Locatelli. The Granito, and I'll put a picture in here too. Um, I'm not gonna show it because it's just the cast on of the neck. It is using yarn by Lolo Did It in a gradient kit that she had. I think it was last summer. She probably still has it, um, but I haven't picked it up in about a month. So, so yeah, that's all I have. That's my works in, work in progress and my finished objects. She has a bunch of bags that she's and been sewing. Bags. So we have all of the ones that we had before that she did not steal during her travel. I needed travel bags. So all of these are up on the shop already, but I'm worked on different sizes. So now these are, these are sizes that will fit, um, like two at a time socks or just one at a time sock. One at a time sock. Is that a thing? I'm not sure, but It'll fit those. It'll fit those. They have the box bottoms. Mm -hmm. We have it in a giant size now. <laughs> so you can see the fabric closer. Mm -hmm. Flamingos and Flamingos. tropical leaves. Ginormous so though. It's still the This box would be bottom. a good one for a shawl. I haven't taken measurements. I haven't listed these yet. I haven't no. done anything. I still pictures. have to label them. Um, but this will fit a shawl or like a kid sweater, I guess. And or, then- I don't know, maybe you could stuff something in there bigger. I don't know. But we have slaws with 
more tropical leaves. More tropical. They're the same bottoms, box bottoms. Yeah, they're the same box bottoms. Uh, lemons and lemon leaves. Why? And then boots, rain boots. These ones are all a little bit shorter than than that one. Okay. That this one. Yeah, these this are one's my, pretty tall. These are my testers to figure out which ones I like and how I and like to do it. You could it. still fit a shawl in these too. Yeah, these so. are still very big. I like them. This is my favorite because I like the rain boots. Yep. I think it's cute. And then, oh, these got mixed up. These are the older ones. Those are the old ones. And then I did two, like, small tall ones. Small talls? Small talls. <laughs> small talls. So I like these ones because they fit my makeup brushes. They, yeah, they don't have to be used for just knitting. They could be used for makeup as well. Yeah. They're, but they're I like taller. them because they're tall. Um, you can roll this over so that your yarn doesn't catch on the zipper. Mm -hmm. If you're knitting a sock, it'll fit a yarn cake in there perfectly. Perfectly. And the ones that I'm going to make now, they're all going to have these little loops. Little handles. Trying to figure out which size I like better. I don't use the handles, so I couldn't really tell. I know some people like to put them on their wrist That's and use it for... Do. Like when they go on walks, they will knit at the same time. I'm, I would trip, Ouch. but some people are coordinated enough to do that. Oh, because you made, she made this one right before I moved away. She did a little tiny nub, but you can only fit a finger in it. And I don't know if I like that. That's the only one I use. Otherwise I just grab it. Just grab it. Just throw it around. Yeah. But yeah, so these ones, they look disheveled right now because they, they are not pressed nice. they're not labeled they're they have to be photographed and all pretty yep. and then i did this one just because i was trying to remember the size <laughs> of my pattern that i was doing before yeah they need to be pressed i like this fabric so these will be up tomorrow um probably tomorrow evening i'll open the shop back up and i will have all of my yarn that I had previously um, listed. I have yarn coming next, it says Wednesday, but I, I don't believe it, um, to dye up more and have more uh, listings, but what happened here? Just got all twisted. Just got twisted. But I'll have all the older stuff that I had before I closed. Mm -hmm. It's all um, still there. I have this one. That she really wants to keep. I really want to keep this one. If you go... Someone needs to go buy this right now. <laughs> or I'm going to keep it. Um, on my Etsy, on the listing, I have a sample knit of it, and I really like it. This one will be coming back to the shop. It'll be a little different. Yeah. But pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. And then these are one of a kinds. They're not coming back. This is 5 o'clock somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, like a sandy, sandy brown tan. Sandy brown, Sandy brown tan. tannish <laughs> color, yellow, I don't know, looks like a Jimmy Buffett shirt. Those will be in the shop. Um, there's only one left of this. This is crushed blueberry. That's another one that she I, really wants I to wanted eat. to keep both skeins, but somebody bought the other one. So so someone needs to buy this one so that she doesn't hold on to it either. This would make a really cool pair of socks. Quit making socks. We just said that. You need to break out. In the, I live in the cold. My house is super, super cold. Um, this is one of a kind. This is not coming back. It's been re-skeined. Um, I don't, it's not going to show properly. Well, kind it of. Is. It kind of is. Yeah, it's been re-skeined though. Uh, it's like lavenders, rose gold, and yellow. Goldish. This one's just Miss Monster. That's like, th those are the ones that for sure. Miss Monsters will not be coming back. They're one of a kinds, not coming back. Um, I don't know if I'm bringing this one back yet. I have I have new ideas, new colorways planned. So this is called Beat It. It may be back in the future, but back in the future. Back in the future. Back, back in the, to future. the future. It may be back in the future. Um, it's called Beat It. It's on a fingering. Um, also, these are 7525. And then this is not coming back. I Just would like to keep this monster. one too. No. I can see this as a hat for my husband. No, it's too late. This will be back, but it's going to be modified. Um, it's like a rose gold. It's a rose gold, but it's. I'm not going to 
have this exact, it's like the color of my skin. Am mm -hmm. I rose gold? No, <laughs> you are not. <laughs> I kept one of these. This is called Skate Night. Um, I made socks. I, show, I showed it on a previous um, episode. They looked really cool. Uh, not coming back. Not coming back? Not coming back. And this is a Miss Monster that's definitely not coming back. It's not really accurate. No, it's showing light gray on there. Yeah. It's very blue purple. That's not gonna show. But this and this will not be back, but they go together perfectly. They do. In person, it's not in person. On camera. These are all um, sock weight. And this is a cranberry color. It's not coming back. This monster skein. It's like a, t it's got different shades. Of like purples yeah, and burgundies. Burgundy wine colors. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. I was gonna mix it in with a shawl that I had plans for, but I should probably stop keeping the yarn. Yeah, that'd be helpful. This is an 80-20. Um, I sold the other one, so there's only one left. And this is not coming back either. Uh, it's like a pastel. I don't think it's gonna show properly. What well, kind of? Not really. No, that's. I don't know. Go look on the shop. It'll be in the shop. We we'll have it all linked. And then these are the DKs that are left. This is faded wallpaper. I think I might bring this one back. I like this. It's you can mix this with anything. Um, I want to put it on a sock weight yarn though. I do like this DK, but it's got a natural base and a, well, almost natural base, and like gold and navy throughout, speckled. And then these two are not coming back. This is like not showing properly, huh? This shows really red, it's not. It's not that it's, red. It's, it's like more a, of like a hot pink. It's not a hot pink. Mm, that's it's closer like, to what it is though. It's a pink red color, I don't know. And then this kind of matches it, so. Like a pink with red speckles, kind of. Yeah. This is Jane Doe. She's not coming back either. She's not coming back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We made it with the inspiration of my cat. Yeah, we used to have a cat. Um, what was she, a tortoiseshell? Tortoiseshell. She looked like this. this. These were her colors. Yep. And her name was Jane Doe because she was a, a rescue kitty. She lived on the streets. Ah. Sorry. And then this is Berry Eater. Berry Eater. This was inspired by my because she loves berries. Berries. And she's all sorts of these colors after she eats them. Um, it may be back, but not right away. Uh, it's it's not showing properly. It's not that pink on there. Like it's like a mauve, mo mo No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes, it is. You don't think you know what mauve is? She's colorblind. You're colorblind. Marvin. Marvin might come back. He is named after a fish my sister had. Yep. He was a beta fish and he had the colors on his tail like that. And he lived forever. He lived forever. His name was Marvin and we had to have a funeral for him when he when he died. Yep. Because <laughs> so. the beta fishes, they only live for like a couple of months. Well, he lived forever. He lived for years. He was very pretty. He lived a long life. Who's screaming? Brooklyn. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Anyways, those are what's going to be in the shop tomorrow. Um... Yeah, and then for next, sure. These. next week I'll get my new shipment in and I probably will spend all weekend dying. You dying need to yarn. take down the listings though of the bags that you stole. And the yarn that I stole. And the yarn that you stole. I will. I will. I will. What else? Um, yeah, it'll be up tomorrow active again. I got to go through and take down the listings that I stole. Mm -hmm. And that's it. She's gonna go home and make some more bags. Yep. But she's gotta ship them to me mm -hmm. so that I can label them unless, actually you'll be able to label them now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, batch, batch of new bags. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. Um, um, what else? Next podcast. Next podcast will probably be in two weeks, I wanna say, cause next week I'm gonna be busy with the yarn. It'll probably be just her. Probably just me for the next one. Um, we have to figure out how to split the screen, I guess. Like, is, I want to do Zoom. She doesn't want to do a Zoom. Uh-uh. I don't like Zoom. It's so easy, though. It looks so gross, though. No, it, it looks... It looks gross. 
Can you FaceTime like two? Yeah. And record? Yeah. You can. We need to get technical. We need to get technical. We, she needs to get good equipment for when she does it by herself. I don't need to be fancy pantsy. I got my phone. I, we weren't fancy pantsy before. And my tripod's sitting on a container of rice. Container of rice. And some books. And some books. We are in a different spot just because the office is a disaster. And she didn't want to clean And it. I didn't want to clean it. I tried. But then I got sidetracked, so. I don't think you tried. I think you opened your suitcase, looked at all your yarn, and then walked away. You don't know me. I know you because you went and got a beer. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> it was afternoon. It was afternoon. So two weeks we'll be back or I'll be back. One of us will be back um, with more yarn to show, mm -hmm. more, more bags, more, bags. Um, more varieties. Yeah, the shop will probably have a lot next next week or so. There's a bag that I really want to make, but I need to find the right zipper for it. That doesn't yeah. look like it belongs on clothes. <laughs> or giant man coats. Or giant man coats. Yeah. Um, yeah. Follow along on Instagram, cc underscore makes. There's been a, a bunch of new subscribers, so thank you. Thank you. Thumbs Welcome. up. Welcome to the crazy chaos. Okay. Yeah. I'm not professional in any way. I don't have sh notes. I don't have show notes. I tried show notes a few times, but I'm not going to do anything this week because I only have vanilla socks and a highly modified sweater. So, except for that one. Except for this one, the little one. Yeah. So, no show notes this time. I will get my stuff together eventually. It's going to take a long time. Don't count on it anytime soon. Rude. I'm just saying, you've been saying for the last yes, nine episodes that but, you do Ravelry, and but guess what, you have it. I've been very busy traveling during a pandemic. So have I. And then Ravelry changed their website, and then I just, when I was going to do it, it was the day that they changed the website, or updated the website, and I took a look at it and got back off of there. So it is what it is. It is what it is, and I'm going to stay on Etsy for a bit because I don't have the brain space to design a website. I told you I would do it. Yeah, I've done but it before. She's the same as me. She thinks I'm a procrastinator. I moved during a pandemic. I did too. No, you didn't. Yes, I you did. Went back to your other home. You didn't have to set up a home. I did too. Nah. -uh. Yeah, I did. Your home was already set I up. I would have all my food shipped in on a boat. Okay. I waited for a truck to bring me all my stuff. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and I had to search for toilet paper in the midst of no toilet paper. See, I, I panic shopped when everything went south. I went to Costco and I didn't hoard. I'm not like that, but there's only three of us here. So I got one of those big things of toilet paper. When other people were buying stealing, 20. I was stealing toilet paper from the hotels because I didn't think I was going to be able to find any once we moved into our house. Now we can't get cleaning products, so. Except for at Fred Meyer yesterday, there were, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. How um, long have we been back? Three days? Uh, no. No, two days. What day is today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> today is the ninth, we've been back for two days. We got back on the seventh, so. Yes. So it was yesterday. We've just been doing a lot of sleeping. It hurts to travel in the middle of the night and then drive two hours yeah. to this place. We didn't even drive straight home either. We stopped about halfway and got, got some food. food. She got some hair stuff because she's going to fix all this pandemic hair. Mm -hmm. COVID cuts. COVID cuts. Yeah. <laughs> she got to fix it before she leaves because we look a wreck. Oh, My seven-year-old Brooklyn looks like she just came from the jungle. She looks like Mowgli. Is that his name? Her hair is like all curly and huge. <laughs> Yeah. yeah so but she loves it like that she's even sick of it right now right now sure but yeah. normally she's like don't touch my beautiful hair that's our life updates so not a lot going on just a lot of craziness did i oh the first night that we were back oh my god <laughs> my 12 year old emma stabbed herself with pocket knife and we have no supplies here at all we didn't even have hydrogen peroxide to clean it 
She yeah, had to go okay. go to her friends and, and grab a little jar of it. Thankfully, she had some and was willing to help us out. Yeah. I but, was, like, rushing into the store, like, five minutes before it was about to close. They didn't have any. And then I, had, I was, like, calling people. It was, like, 10 o'clock. I was like, ah, uh, do you guys have anything? <laughs> we need help. There was a lot of blood. There was a lot of blood. and The seven-year-old's traumatized. They both almost fainted at the sight of the blood. The so, little ones, yeah. Yeah. I was, like... She was more help than I was. I was just trying yeah, to hold she... Emma up from fainting. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to take her to the ER because we had no bandages at all. At all. So that was a fun first first night back. Eventful. It was very eventful. After we had been sleeping literally all, all day. day. We got to go now because yeah. the little one's down here and looking crazy. So see you in two weeks. Follow along on Instagram, cc underscore makes. Check out the shop tomorrow, probably 5 p.m. I want to say. I got to do some editing on there. So around five in the evening, I'll have it opened again. CC Fiber and Design. Go to Google, type it in. It's easier than trying to find it on Etsy. No. Um, but we'll have it linked below. Yeah, everything will be linked below. And that's it. That is all. That be it. So see you in two weeks. Woo! Bye! Bye! Now we look disheveled. We are. It's a terrible pyramid. It's fine. You're not supposed to look at us. You're supposed to look at the... I'm trying to fix my shirt. I'm just saying. No, I mean like it's... Well, it's always at eye level, but it's... What? Like tilted this way. I need, to, I need my hair done real bad. Real bad. Real bad. All right, I need to drink a beer first. Take a drink first. Take a drink. Do it on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I have a turtleneck. You have a what? <laughs> Good God. Okay. All right. okay. <laughs> I feel like a newscaster. A newscaster. <laughs> I'm here to bring you the unwanted news. <laughs> so, oh my God. Pull yourself together. I'm salivating a lot. <laughs> what do I say? What's my podcast name?